Derbyshire and Cryde. The original plan was to go to Bottoms today. I'll go into that further a bit later, but I've ended up at Cryde. Uh, as you probably gather from the previous vlogs, the one at Fantasy Island, I was meant to come here a couple of weeks ago and didn't. Anyway, I thought today would be as good a time as any. So we anyway, a little bit of information before we go in there. There are the opening times. See, it's open to the 28th of October, open from the 17th of March. So we've got Starlight events as well. So yeah, um, anyway, I did email the, uh, the museum uh, a couple of weeks ago prior to my original visit and um, they said it was all right to film however i've got to seek permission from the duty inspector as they're going regarding actually filming on the trams themselves so um so yeah happy days so very very warm again just come up for one stanwell station i'll go into that further a bit later the connections and everything and um the train times and everything but but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go and find the, uh, well, first of all, pay, and then go and find the uh, duty inspector, and I'll see you in there. So just a bit of information as we go in about the place. You've got the village, a sweet shop on there, and a pub, Woodland Park, all the exhibitions, the events of 2018. Tomorrow. Measure admission price is £17 for adults, £13 for seniors, £10 for children, £40 for the family ticket. And of course, you can return within 12 months on the same ticket, so don't throw your ticket away once you've, once you've left the village, tramway village. absolutely fine thumbs up big light there really pleasant says yeah no problems as long as you don't stand up or create nuisance my middle name is nuisance then that, that is absolutely fine anyway, i'm just going to take you for a quick walk around the town end terminus um before the next tram's due at about 10 past you've got the uh, the old town hall type thing the assembly rooms i'll just take you towards the uh, bit of information about the place built in 1765 his Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester. So there you go, very old building. Got a couple of trams in there. Um, that one, the, the far one, isn't due out while 12.45. We'll try and get all three trams in. These three trams we're in today. You've also got the... Uh, I'll try and pronounce that. Um, but yeah, really, really good, really well themed. You've got uh, the tea rooms just over there. You can see the sweet shot. We're gonna take a little uh, walk through there. But yeah, well worth the uh, £17 to get in. And as I said, keep your tickets because you can return within 12 months on the same ticket. So yeah, really, really good. You've got the ice cream parlour there. Enjoy your 99. So yeah, just a few old shops really, You've got the uh, gifts and books, souvenirs, the doo-doo fridge magnets here, the little merch places you come in. <laughs> Sweet shop, that's your tea rooms. of an old village really. Now you've got the pub, get you a little bit in there in a bit, we'll go have a pint while we're here. Just walking a little bit further up the uh, the street, you've got the tram depot as well. So I'll take a nosy in there and uh, see what's going off. the 
Sheffield tram. Yeah, there's 60 altogether, 60 trams. Um, so there's three out today. But yeah, that's the Sheffield one. That's a cliff, yeah. Glad I've seen that one. So anyway, I'll see you on the tram, say, during a few minutes' time, and uh, yeah, we'll get a little ride on that. It's approximately a mile long the track. I'll go through all the different stations and everything, where to get off, but yeah. Town End Terminus at Crouch Tramway Museum. That's, um, that's his leaving, so you've got the assembly room there. Probably stay on this till the end, so get everything on the line. South London ones operated from from Brentford, Hammersmith and Twickenham. And as we were queuing, the guy came round and showed us what it was like, and it was nothing like this. They've restored it really, really well. So you've got the old stall. station there all the um, all the seats could be reversed so actually front facing again now so, uh, so yeah get us on the uh, on the right track onto the points and uh,
Yeah, just coming back into the town end. Got the Red Lion pub. Yeah, I'll give you a bit of an history on that in a short while. Got the sweetie shop. Ice cream parlour. And that is the line at Crouch. United Electric Tramways. Yeah, so the line takes about a quarter of an hour to do. It's about a mile long. A couple of sta uh, stations, stops on the way. And uh, you can have a, a look round at the very, very far end is the, um, the War Museum Memorial, which is must be the highest point of this uh, region. So. Well worth checking out and also you've got the uh, woodland walk Let's see what time we get we might do a walk but yeah it's um, an old vintage scene here and as you can see the um, police box that was um, the origins for the one in Doctor Who so any Doctor Who fans out there that one's for you so yeah it's going to take a little bit of a walk back up um, I'll have a look at the workshop before we try out the, um, the alcohol here Red Lion Pub, give you a little bit of history on that later as I said. But yeah, the original plan was to do the bottoms today. Um, I just didn't fancy it when I got back from the travelling fair yesterday. I was saying on the vlog that I would be there today, but I got back and um, I thought I'll do a crouch. Uh, I can have a bit of a lie in. It's been an early week at work, so I've been up at like four and five all week. Fancied a bit of a lie in and also something uh, to point out about um, Crouch and the train network here. In two weeks time you've got the Derby re signalling uh, so that's going to impact everything that comes up from Derby to Matlock so I mean I can do Bottoms later on in the season and also another trip to Fantasy Island when the wristbands are uh, a little bit cheaper and it's a lot less busy so that will mean uh, a few more goes on Millennium as well but but yeah for the, um, just going into the workshop now I thought this would be a good plan and also I want museums to come on the vlog not just theme parks as much as I like doing theme parks um, I like to mix it up a little bit so, so there you go Sheffield's last tram Few Steel City. So um, yeah, I mean we've got two uh, theme park vlogs coming on later on in the week, next week. So yeah, mixes it up a bit, bit of a change. And then you've got Manchester, well Blackpool tram. <laughs> yeah, Whetstone number forty, three three one. Exhibitional. Oh, I've got. Oh, just noticed something here. I've got two Sheffield tramps. Okay, I've got ones from Dartford there as well. Kirkstall, that's Leeds. Beresford Square, Kennington, that'll be London. From allowed on here, there you go. Sheffield Middlewood 189 tram. Or number 189. good so anyway we'll take a little look in the um, exhibition hall um, discovery depot discovery depot or will we hang on a minute oh. where we're we going here 
Transport Trust National Tramway Museum. I don't actually know what's around here. Um, Turn you off for the minute because I'm walking around a bit aimlessly. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's the sheds really. You must have a good 20 trams parked up. Yeah, all good stuff. So inside the pub now, as you can see, pork pies, £2.50, you've got a pork pie and salad, £3. I know somebody who is a subscriber will be interested in mentioning any names. I've also got the, uh, the menu there as well. And uh, my tipple. There's a packet of crisps there, so I'm uh, going to go outside and uh, enjoy the sun while we can. plan is going to be, uh, obviously finish my pint first and um, have a look, uh, further look around really, I'm aiming to be on the 3, uh, 347, the 1447 from Watts Downwell. If you're intending to walk from Watts Downwell up here, get prepared for a, uh, a steep hike, it's very very steep. If you don't like big hills then recommend a taxi or you can get a bus from Matlock I think as well but yeah at least it's all downhill on the way back so um, it takes about 25 minutes to walk, but the, uh, the walk is really, really scenic, so, um, so yeah, um, anyway, I've got about an hour here, maybe a little bit more, so I'm going to do the woodland walk, have a look at the views and everything, um, try out the sweet, sweetie shop, and um, yeah, um, get some merch as well, I know they do fridge magnets as you come in, so I'm going to get one of them for my fridge, so yeah, good times.
machine. Not much machine. And then just lines and lines of sweets. Sweet shop, and uh, there you got the tea rooms. There, now that's the only tram that I actually need to go out on is number 40. Oh well, bit of off ride, <laughs> a bit there. So, anyway, I'm gonna have a look at the merch shop, uh, try and get a fish. Well, no, I'm gonna get a fish magnet. Well, so a quick show you around that, and then we'll um, we'll conclude the vlog. Great few hours here in uh, Christ Tramway Museum. So you can come by this with a really, really good day in the area, in the Matlock area, because you've also got Gulliver's Kingdom, Matlock, will be situated a few miles away from here, and the Gulliver's um, Abraham Heights cable car finger, Heights of Abraham, that's what I was trying to say. So you can combine all this with few hours at the theme park and um, doing the cable cars as well fantastic day out in Matlock if you drive and um, I've got a family so yeah well worth checking out Selection of merchandise, a little model there, eight pound fifty. Pens, rubbers, bookmarks, brollies. Postcards, more fridge magnets. is 2.47 from here, 14.47, the trains leave at 47 minutes past and from Derby 52 minutes past coming the other way back to Matlock from, from Derby but all that subject to change in a couple of weeks when the re-signalling uh, starts so um, do double check things on the East Midlands website also the National Rail as well so there you are quite a few here today actually I'm going to get out I'm going to get one over uh, yeah, I've got my fridge magnet, you can see that. It's that Sheffield tram again. Look good on my fridge, that will. So yeah, well worth checking out. As I said, it's £17 for an adult, uh, whatever it was, 14 for children, whatever it was. But if you keep your ticket, retain your ticket for 12 months, you can get back in here free of charge. So well worth it. And there's bits I haven't done there today, the woodland walk, the walk up the... Uh, Glory Mine, I think they called it, the uh, the end station, so, so yeah, well worth checking out. As I said, if you are intending 
to come by train from uh, Watts Stanwell, then it's up to you. If you like steep walking, then do it. But if you don't, I'd get a taxi from the bottom, be a few quid, whatever. Uh, but it's all downhill on the way back. Try and get some views of the uh, the walk back down. They are really, really panoramic, really, really good. So, um, so yeah, really, 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 really nice and scenic. Anyway, uh, next week um, the vlog will be coming. Or the channel will be coming from Chessington on Friday. All that is booked, so I will definitely be at Chessington, staying at the Premier Inn on the Thursday night. I've got my friend Andy with me on that one, so. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And then next Sunday and Monday, me and the channel will be in Blackpool. Looking forward to doing Fusion and Icon. Got to say, in Fusion, it's an SLC. I do like my SLCs. So we'll be back onto the theme parks, and then I don't know further, further on from that. So, uh, so yeah. Anyway, from Crichton, it's uh, bye bye for now. Check it out.